my worst base in Clash of Clans. Could we max it in just one video? Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. This is my worst base, which it's the end of the month and I'm just getting the notification that the season ended. Shows you how often I log into this account. You guys will have seen this. We purposely left it inactive to test out the automatic upgrade feature. But could we actually get this to a maxed Town Hall 11 with the Christmas bundles in just this one video? Let's find out. The loot cart is always well stocked when you return to an account. Let's press the C in the top right right enter code judo that's a way you can support me on the channel before purchases as ever it is always appreciated my friends a little trick here will be to buy the gold pass just four days left on that gold pass. Seems pretty funny to buy it at this stage. Did you know you cannot buy the gold pass within the last day? However, my next little trick is actually, let's gem all of the way up to the 20% builder boost. Might as well get the research boost as well in case we do any upgrades within the lab. You know what? It's going to be worth it just going all of the way because I'm not going to do many attacks on this account, to be honest with you. We do get another book of building, even a rune of dark elixir. I'm going to be able to use them in this video. Now we see how far we get. We would have to get the heroes to level 50 to max out Town Hall 11. I was just looking at this and thinking, why do I have my lab? in the center of my base and then I realized it is a placeholder for the eagle artillery I haven't even built it yet so this is going to eat into the special offers straight away did notice we had the tornado trap as well so let's where is it oh center of the base you know what you can go there at least that is everything built but let's start with the archer queen now, I don't want to use a Book of Heroes at this stage. It is only two days. But the fact that it's 400 gems, that is quite a lot. Are we going to run out of gems here before we actually run out of resources? Because that is the main thing. We're having to gem the time. And that was why it was important to get to the 20% Builder Boost. Oh my goodness, we're not even close. That's the Dark Elixir. The Queen to level 40, that is the maximum for Town Hall 10. Oh man, I honestly thought those Clashmas bundles might have got us close to a max Town Hall 11. My King, sorry, but oh, actually, you know, you can get a level or two. Why not? Let's show the King some love as well. Two levels. You're welcome. I think we should cool off on the gems for a moment. That was... About half of my gems already. I do have four Book of Heroes, and I know that we have the Rune of Dark Elixir. So why don't we use that Rune of Dark Elixir? And then what we need to be able to do, let's use the Hero Book. Hmm. I guess I could have used two of the Book of Heroes earlier on, but level 42 is where we're at for the Queen at the moment. Now we should upgrade the Storages, because what this is going to mean is when we use magic items, I'm pretty sure there's a rune of gold and a rune of elixir in the gold pass, we're going to get better value. Let's make sure they are all maxed for this Town Hall 11 level. Done. Okay, 10,000 gems remain. Still got a bunch of loot. If we're thinking about this tactfully, it was a very ambitious target to max the Town Hall 11, but heroes aren't even close. The walls, though, we have 115 wall rings. If I were to look at my lowest level wall, level 3, it is 8,000 gold to upgrade, but I could use a wall ring. Do not use wall rings on lower level walls. A wall ring is the equivalent of 1 million gold or elixir, but it will not upgrade more than one wall. So even this one, level 10 to level 11 is only 400,000 gold. It's better value for my wall ring, 
but it's still not worth it. If I were to, let's upgrade it with Elixir actually. Now, even though it's 800,000, that's because of the 20% discount. Now from level 11 to 12 is where I'm getting the true value of the wall ring because that is 1 million. So I don't really want to use those wall rings if I'm not upgrading them from level 11 to 12, which is the maximum for Town Hall 11. How much does it cost us to get the walls to that level though? Why don't we start with just one layer, which is 44 walls and it's 17 million gold. I'm pretty sure after this level, maybe the next we can start using the elixir. Why don't we test this out with just 44 walls and then we can decide whether we want to push this even further. Wait, did my gold even budge? Oh, I added an extra digit. This is only 2 million gold. Okay, well that's fine. Let's go ahead and do the 44 walls because now we can use the elixir and the reason I want to use the elixir by the way You know, I always try and give you efficiency tips when we go on these spending sprees as well Since this isn't my main account. It's a secondary account. I'm not as Bothered about maxing out my lab early on at this stage for the simple reason if I want to take this account Let's say into the one versus five war series one power potion maxes out that lab for those attacks Unfortunately, there is not a defensive potion So I should really focus the gold on my defenses the elixir onto my walls because I can easily max out the troops Using that potion. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, let's go ahead and use the elixir 3.5 million. Let's get this upgraded to level 9 I remember when each one of those walls was 1 million to get from 8 to 9. That was 3 million for 44. Wow, just mind-blowing how much cheaper the game has become in time. But here we go. Another layer done. That is level 10. It is level 11 to 12 where it's now 1 million. So we need to use another 17 million elixir this time it does certainly go up over there we go now you can see it is 35 million gold or elixir but that is with the builder discount that is why i gemmed the gold pass right at the start of the video so this would normally be 44 million gold or elixir and that means we're getting the true value out of the wall rings three two one beautiful at least we've got some maxed level walls you know what I think we should do? We should upgrade all of the walls to that point where it costs elixir in order to upgrade them. But I'm not actually going to upgrade all of them with the elixir. I will tell you why in a moment, but let's go ahead and upgrade to that point, which is level eight. And then let's leave it like that. Main reason for this is it's not that much gold to get them to this point. And then when I'm logging into this account passively, I can choose which resource to upgrade them with. Whilst I do want to utilize the wall rings, I want that best value. And I also want to try and upgrade the warden a little bit. So we'll come back to the walls at the end. Whoa, look at the difference. Just comparing to the start of the episode to now, that is what the walls do to your base. This is no longer my worst base. Speaking of the Grand Warden though, let's take a look at this. How far could we upgrade him? 14 hours. I completely forgot about the Warden when I started upgrading those walls with the Elixir. <sighs> the main question is, what do we do with these wall rings? Do I upgrade my Warden? Do I upgrade the walls so that I can utilize the wall rings? Let's go with some defenses first and then we can decide. Why don't we look for the Eagle Arts? Oh my goodness, we have all of this stuff as well. Well, the army camps... We definitely need to prioritize those. I actually thought for some reason they were maxed out for this level. So before we concentrate on walls, we definitely need to upgrade our army camps. Did it say the lab needs upgrading? No, it must have been the spell factory, was it? I don't know if this ever happens to you when you look around your base, but I just cannot find it. Spell factory, yes. The invisibility spell. Let's go. I didn't plan this out massively beforehand, but two book of everything, one book of building. I think we've got a book of building in the gold pass. 
but we obviously want to use them for the longest upgrades. I don't think five days is going to be the longest. In fact, I think the army camps are normally pretty long in comparison to other things. So seven days, take a quick look at this. Eagle artillery, that's got to be one of, the, yeah, eight days. So honestly, yeah, let's just use the book of building here. Let's use one of them on that eagle artillery because we know that's going to be the longest. Expos and Inferno Towers, they are pretty much the same. So let's actually just upgrade those. I guess it's one hour difference, which you never know, might save us a couple of gems. These Expos are only four days. They're not quite at that level. And look at the gems. They are going down fast. We might actually run out of gems beforehand. There's the seven day one. So let's upgrade those Expos for the seven days. Have we run out of books already? Was that it? Oh my goodness. Let's see what we've got in here. Book of building, there we go. You know what? I bet when I used that rune of dark elixir earlier, I could have probably got a hero upgrade, like the king or something, and then used it. But never mind. Wall rings. Am I a joke to you? I'll try and use you. I will try my best to use you. Don't worry. Home stretch. Let's see what we can get. So, army camps. If we were to finish those off, let's take a look at this. I think the expo was still the better value for the book, wasn't it? So, let's get one of the expos finished because either way, we need the builders. Should we get something upgrading in the lab? Just anything so that in the background after this video, it's still going. I think that would be wise. The, really, I should have the E-Dragons, right? For Town Hall 11, that would be the best upgrade. Unlocks the E-Drag. Well, let's get the E-Drag unlocked, and then let's actually get the E-Drag upgraded. Is that 7 million? For some reason, I can't read the digits properly today. But there we go, E-Drags it is. I think with the gems and the amount of gold and elixir we have, we probably should focus on the defenses now. Keep a builder. And we can upgrade walls afterwards because otherwise I think we're going to run out of gems. Look at this one piece of wall hiding. What are you doing? You can get yourself upgraded. Actually, you are the chosen one. Let's get you upgraded all of the way to... It's level 12 is the level we go to, isn't it? Yes. So you can have a wall ring. What's funny about this video is I'd planned things out and I woke up this morning to do it, realized our good friend Pika had upgraded his worst base, which is a Town Hall 11 too, by the way. But I had a quick watch of his this morning whilst I was getting sorted and he's had a tough year, man. So I want you to do me a favor. After this video, head on across to his and show him some love in the comments. Like me, I know he reads them all, tries to respond to as many and your comments they impact us. So I know how much it will mean to him and me. Thank you. I think we do another sleeve of these walls. So let's do that. All of the way up to that level where we can then use the wall rings. We now don't have enough elixir. <laughs> it just says the wall rings, but that's perfect. There we go. Actually, we have a rune of elixir and we have 25 wall rings. What? They went down fast. So why don't we focus on actually getting the, those wall rings used so we can collect the others? Oh no, Let's see what we can do here. Okay, 48,000, we can cook up some troops in the background. There we go, beautiful. Now we can use the Rune of Elixir. Okay, wall rings, 12 wall rings. Yes, that means we can collect the others. We are not going to lose out. Ah, I have avenged them. <laughs> Feels that way anyway, beautiful stuff. Okay, I should probably use the book of fighting here for the E-Drag. Now that E-Drag is maximum level, why don't I upgrade the rage spell? Because I always recommend to you that you have a war and a farming attack. And you just focus on that. And if you can focus on a single troop. For, so for Town Hall 11, the E-Drags. E-Drags and Balloons. If I upgraded those alongside, let's say, the Rage and the Freeze, that would see me for farming and for war. And then I could start expanding and maxing out other troops from there. But at least I'd have a well-upgraded backup strategy. 
Now we need to spend the rest of the gold. So let's gem the Inferno Towers since they have the least amount of time. And I think we should probably just go with the most expensive, you know. Oh, the Inferno Towers can actually get another level. So let's get both of those upgrading. Why don't we go with the air defense as well? Air defense, it doesn't matter the level. They are always pretty important in the meta. Then 5 million... Okay, so 4.8 would be the air defense again. So if we were to use 700,000 on walls, 560,000 for these, pretty good. Now we upgrade the air defense and the rune of a gold, not elixir. We've used the rune of elixir. That now gets us pretty good value. We can use the gems to... I think the army camp is probably the best value. Gives us more troop capacity to go farming. Now, what do we upgrade? Town hall. Hey, it was a rushed base. We might as well rush it even more, right? Should we? I mean, I'm see I'm actually considering it. I mean, we answered the question. There is no way that we could max it to town hall 11. And one of the reasons that you sometimes go to that next level is to get access to siege machines. Let's do it. Town Hall 12 it is. At least we can have something to celebrate at the end of this video that we did not get to the max for Town Hall 11. Your Town Hall now fires back at attackers. You can upgrade the weapon to make it more powerful. Let's get going. 3.2 million. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. We've got zero gold. If only we had a rune of gold. We collected it, right? <laughs> Hey, we've got some gold in here. That gives us something. Not sure why I did that, but oh well. This is one of my rushed accounts. This was actually intended to be a Town Hall 12. I have different accounts at different levels, so it really doesn't matter too much. We should get the storages upgraded. I guess I should now follow my own upgrade guide. If you want to see my upgrade guide for every single town hall level, it is linked on your screen with the subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bit of an experiment, failed miserably, but I hope you had fun either way. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.